Okay, hello. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Saturday. I know it's been a little while since I've been on. Me and my grandbaby, we're eating some dried pineapples. pineapples. She says she don't like them too well. I like them. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me make my video. So, going back to school at the age of 50. Oh, Jesus, what was you thinking, honey? What was you thinking? I was thinking, I'm going to get my education. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> so, Let me chew up this pineapple and I'm going to start talking, y'all. Let me know how long my video going to go. I don't know how much space I got. It might cut off on me. I hope it don't. But if it do, I love you all. Continue to pray for me. Go ahead and watch your panda cartoon. Uh-oh. Get <coughs> that one. But, um, calm down. So, yes. If you all have been with me for a while, there was a couple of years ago where I had went to school and did my missions. I was going to start back going to school, but I didn't ever go back. My last years in college was in 2004. <clears throat> so now it is absolutely official, you all. Last week was admissions week for going back to school for the fall. I completed my missions. What is it? What is that? Water. Ah. Go spit it out if you want it. <laughs> and um, I completed my admissions. <clears throat> I got my acceptance letter. That I am really excited, you all. I will be in the Associate of Arts program. I will have to go two years to my community college. Then I will transfer to go two years to a um, university. I plan to get my doctorate in psychology. That's the goal. And so I am soliciting all of y'all prayers, all of your supplications, in and everything that you can give me. Please give it to me. I will still be working at, at um, my job. I'll still be working in the daytime. I will be attending school at night. So, for those of you all that's already come through college, so you understand sometimes that is a task, but I'm free to do it because I don't have any, you know, small children, I'm not married, the only responsibility I have is me, and that's it. Um, so, you all, please keep me in your prayers, um, but yes, I'm going back to school to get my education, and you know what, you all, <clears throat> while I was in school in 2004, my credits for what I done then transferred over to now, so those uh, credits are still good for now, and that was in English and history. So um, I thank God for that, that those uh, credits that I had back then could transfer. Now I really should have never quit college back then because I was a um, B student. I had real good grades, but I didn't have the mindset to go to school. I wanted to boy hang out. I wanted to do what I wanted to do, you know. My mind wasn't really on school, especially when I my very first enrollment in school. Uh, but now I have a total different mindset. Okay, I'm doing a video now. I have a total different mindset. Um, I know the importance of education. I know a little bit about the world. I know a little bit about, you know, things that matter to a young mind that doesn't matter. <laughs> you learn as you get older. But I just want you all to continue to pray so very much for me. Um, and I'm really excited, you all. I am so excited about going back to school. I also would like to thank Miss Anonymous. You know who you are. I woke up this morning and you blessed me um, in my cash app. And I literally cried because you just don't know. <laughs> You just don't know. Um, sometimes we be going through, you know. Sometimes folks be going through. Sometimes we need things. 
And I'm the type of person, I always tell God my needs. And God always lays it on someone's heart to be a blessing to me. And I, I thank God for it. And I thank God for you. I really do many, 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 many blessings. Many, 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 many doors open up to you, Miss Anonymous, for how you have just carefree, continually blessed me. And you've been blessing me over the years and over the months. And I pray for you. I, I, I thank God for you. I literally do. That you're just a well to me. You really are. And you just don't know how. Whew, I thank you. I thank you. I really thank you so much for blessing me on this morning. I really do. And those of you all that pray for me. And those of you, you know, that, that do anything for me. I really appreciate it. But, hon, I'm telling you. I am soliciting all prayers. And anything y'all can do as I go back to school. My first class starts August the 16th, I believe it is. I think it's August the 16th my first class starts. And um, I'll be attending night classes. And um, I'm just excited. I'm ready to go and ready to um, do what I got to do. Because I want to, and my main thing is, you all, I want, like I was telling my um, counselor, I want to be a help to everyone but because i am a black woman i know the deficiency in help for a lot of black people especially black young females black men that struggle in the area of trauma a lot of times black people we deal with a lot of trauma but we don't go get help and most of the times we want to get the help but we can't afford the help you know, we don't have the money or the insurance to afford the help. So I said, Lord, you bless me. I'm saved. I, I know God. God knows me. That's number one. Plus this education, education and God together. It's going to work hand in hand. And I'm just thanking God that he's given me this ability, given me this desire. I want to be able to help. And I mean really help, not tell someone turn around three times and go home and wait on no i want people to really be helped so i think this education is really going to help me be able to bless those that are in my all communities but especially in the black community where we don't seek out uh um mental health we don't seek out um help you know help we just don't and it's because most times we can't afford it and most times we don't talk about it but i want to help those young people especially black young women or girls that have dealt with trauma in our lives some of us we've come through rape we've come through abandonment we've come through abuse we've come through uh, molestation all kind of things and those things are trauma but we don't know what to do with the trauma we don't know how to place the trauma no one's talked to us or we can't afford to go sit and talk with someone so here i am here I am. I'm going to get this degree and with the help of the Lord. And, you know, I've been dealing with these things now without the degree. But I know there's a lot of platforms and places I can't go if I don't have the degree. So I think the degree will open up more doors for me, even though I deal with these things now. So I want to help um, our community and anybody. It's just not my community, but I say my community because... Our community is, is the house that's on fire, if I can say it like that, to help young black girls and young black men know how to deal with trauma. Where do you put, you know, your, your, your family has, you know, touched you inappropriately and now you're out or you addicted to drugs or, you know, you've been abused. How do you deal with that type of trauma? Or when you face loss or death or, you know, someone that you, you know, how do young people deal with trauma? We don't know how to deal with it. We just, what, go from year to year, year to year, getting older and older and still haven't dealt with that trauma. So what do we do? We see it in drug abuse. We see it in promis being promiscuous sexually. We see it in um, all kinds of things. But I believe if we could get in here and bring some structure, show young people or show people how to deal with trauma, 
Just on, we've been traumatized, you know, and we need to know how to deal with trauma. So I'm here. I'm here. And when God, once God, as God continues to bless me, allow me to get this degree and, um, I'll be able to open up my own place or, and I'll be able to go in other doors and even in the streets, you know, like I do now and help people more effectively. And I'm just so excited about it. I want to help us. I want to help us so we can have a better chance at life. I really do. So you all, I'm going back to school. I'm a grandma going back to school. I know it's not going to be easy, but I can do it with the help of the Lord. I even already written myself a letter. This is letter to self when letter to self when discouraged. Because there are going to be plenty of things. And 